For one, especially in the first, you know, up until the, really the last year, was being away. You know, um, I've always enjoyed traveling. Um, everything I've, most of what I've done in my life, I, I traveled places and it was gone. Um, you know, and I missed kids stuff in the past, but in this career, yeah, I've missed quite a few things. I mean, I didn't miss graduations or anything like that, but you know, there was like, my daughter got engaged and um, I knew when it was gonna happen. I knew where and when it was gonna happen and I was gone. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. I was, I, I couldn't be there for it. And, um, and there's been a few other things like that that I just wasn't there for. And you, um, I missed, I missed my wife's birthday one year and I will never do that again. Um, I talked about, I missed my own birthday. You know, I was, uh, it was this January. I was, I was actually a manager, but it's the same scenario. Um, got a phone call saying, Hey man, we need you in Oregon. You know, we need you, we need you in Portland. And I'm like, okay, I can leave uh Thursday. Like, no, we need you to be on a plane tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. I'm like, okay. You know, and I, and I, the next day was my birthday. You know, it was just like, so I spent, I spent my birthday, you know, catching planes and changing planes and making my way to Portland. And the little caveat to that was, is that the, the, the Marriott I was staying in, they recognized it was my birthday and I got up to my room and they brought me like a tray full of stuff and, and a birthday card. So that was kind of cool. Nice. But, uh, you know, yeah. th those things, those things, you know, they suck. They just, they absolutely suck. Um, I actually spent, um, what was it? 2021. I was in, I was in, uh, Seattle, um, for, uh, Thanksgiving. I was, I was there during Thanksgiving and, uh, that was, that, that's another one of those things I haven't lived down yet. Um, spouses don't like that very much. And so. No. Th so, yeah. They, they got to be on board with it, too, though. I mean, right. But, uh, it, but she knew going into it, you know, and, but it was like after the fact that it really became an issue. But um, that, that would be number one. Now I don't really have to worry. So I still worry about that. We now travel together. we you know, we do everything together now. Um, so I don't have to worry about missing anything with her, but you know, kids are still back home in Texas. You know, my daughter's still, my daughter just bought a new house. Okay. Uh, she's moving into her new house. Well, we left town before she moved into her new house. And I really, I, it was kind of a scheduled thing that we'd already done. And so I missed helping her move into her first new house. You know, that's a big deal. You know, when your 24 year old daughter buys sure. her first house, 23, 24. man, she's, she's getting old. But anyway, um, <laughs> but you know those those things suck. Uh, just no matter how you look at it, the we talked about this before. It it never the really bad losses. The really the watching people go through losing everything. I don't like that. I, I don't I don't like it. Yeah, they pay really well, make a lot of money. We discussed it before we came on the air. You know, some of the money we've made off stuff like that but no no i would i would give up i would give up every dime of ever having to to never work another one again if people didn't have to go through that you know i, I just I, I don't as good as they pay yeah, yeah. i wish I, I would i would really hope that i would never be called to another one you know and never need to be called to another one you know just because those are just hard because if you can't put yourself in those people's shoes you know you're not human, in my, in my opinion. Um, it's tragic. It happened. And, you know, you, you know, my last one that I did, I'll just go on a little side tangent here. The, the, the lady on the home had been in the hospital and she had just gotten put into a long-term care facility. She had two sons that lived with her. One of them was, she was, she had conservatorship over one of her sons because he's just mentally not there. Um, schizophrenic, bipolar, everything. Um, now the house is, is gone. So she had another son that lived with her as well. He was in the shower whenever the house caught on fire, ran through the house and had second and third degree burns on him trying to get out of the house. Um, the house is gone. That guy's got nice. no place to go back. It's, it's a bad situation. And then she, their oldest son who has power of attorney now, 
you know, working, helping this guy get through the situation. He's got this mentally, you know, this brother with all kinds of mental problems. We're doing the inspection on the home and the mentally, you know, disturbed brother shows up and it, it got nasty. I mean, it got really nasty. As a matter of fact, the, the mentally disturbed brother jumped in the other guy's car and he jumped out of it, had to call the police. And, you know, you're sitting there feeling for this guy because this guy is dealing with his mother, you know, who is now in a long-term care facility. You know, mother's just lose her house. Mother's in a long-term care facility. One of his brothers is in the hospital with second and third degree burns. And now he's dealing with this mentally deranged brother in the street and having to call the cops on him. I mean, how much can one person deal with? You know, and you see that yeah. and you can't help but feel compassion for that person. You know, he didn't ask for any of that, you know, but he's, he's thrust in the middle of it. So those, those scenarios you come across, you know, and uh, those are also part of the adjuster stories too. You know, um, there's some funny sure. things that came out of that meeting that we won't go over here, but it, um, and I've talked to that guy two or three times since then. And it's been, you know, it's, He's doing better. But anyway, if you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.